Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Rally and you're watching my channel Rally the Brand. For those who don't know me, I am a freelance web developer and a content creator. In this video, I want to talk about where my investment of time is going in 2022 and my reasoning behind it. I'm hoping that this video helps you to make your own choice and maybe even inspire you. So to me, life and business in general is about making progress. Web development can be an overwhelming profession. There is an unlimited amount of things that you can do and learn, which is, I guess, also the thing that makes it exciting. We have so many tools, languages, frameworks, methodologies, processes. It can be just an overwhelming, especially if you're getting started, I guess. Just picking up a JavaScript framework to use can be an extremely overwhelming process on its own. And I guess that's just the paradox of choice. I wanted to throw in a good quote that I found, which goes, learning to choose is hard, learning to choose well is harder, and learning to choose well in the world of unlimited possibilities is harder, still perhaps too hard. So what I'm trying to say here is that many of us get paralyzed by choice. Um, are we making the right decision? How much time uh, will it take? Can I do it? Will I like it? What do people think of it? Can I get a job with it? And these are all relevant questions that we ask ourselves all the time. And nobody likes to waste their time anymore. So here is a solution that could potentially help you out. And this is to do with the intent versus impact. And I will soon expose what I'm going to learn and do in 2022. But uh, before we do that, let's talk about intent versus impact. So there is an old proverb that states, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Meaning that while the intentions might be good, without proper follow through, the impact can be still bad. What are your intentions for this year? Are you going to learn a new language, framework or tool? Are you focused on personal development and maybe even uh, building your own business? Are you looking to get a job or maybe even look uh, to get promoted in your current job? I think that once you have figured out your uh, intentions, once you have your intentions in place, hopefully the choice will be much easier to make. Obviously, the next step would be to take action. Um, I can't tell you what to do, but I'm personally an overthinker, so the perfect ratio might be 20% of intent and 80% action for me. And the reason for this is because if I don't do that, uh, then I'll probably get stuck in a loop of overthinking everything and I'll just waste time and not accomplish anything. So my personal intent for 2022 is to fully focus on my business, build relationships and build multiple income streams. I don't want to fully focus on what's new and exciting to learn, but I also want to look into what my current skill stack is and what are my deficiencies. I'm heavily going to continue investing my time into web development. This is what I love doing and this is how I make all of my money. Here are some of the languages and tools that I would like to look into 2022. I really like to look into Svelte and mainly Svelkit. I'm already familiar with Svelte, but I would like to spend some time on Svelkit, build a few tools. I think that would be quite beneficial. Also, I really want to get my uh, JavaScript uh, game on because with ECMAScript 2022, there is so much new there's so many new things that have come up in the past year and new things are rolling out as well that I'm kind of like getting out of date and I really want to get back on uh, JavaScript, just learning JavaScript, getting better at it. Um, A-Frame is another tool that I would like to look into. With A-Frame, you can basically build VR experiences using web technology, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I've already looked into it last year, but it didn't seem to be updated for a while, or, and I just left it. But I definitely want to revisit A-Frame. And the last thing that I want to look into is definitely some sort of a blockchain development, whether it's Ethereum, uh, Solana, 
or whatever. I really want to look into some blockchain development. I think that's pretty exciting. And I also want to keep on top of my existing skills, be it Angular, Ionic, Firebase, WordPress, Node.js, Express, and overall website design, accessibility, usability, and so on. So I want to keep improving on the skills that I have. The trends that I want to really look into 2022 are going to be, with no surprise, blockchain, VR, machine learning, NFTs, and that's pretty much it, I think. Plenty of stuff to uh, look into to spend some time researching. And for personal development and business, I'm pretty much going to be uh, I'm pretty much going to continue doing what I was already doing. So I'm going to focus on my health and fitness. I'm going to focus on my relationships. I'm going to listen to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts. No more paper books. I'm done with that. Uh, definitely going to be listening to a lot of uh, podcasts, business podcasts, development podcasts, uh, marketing podcasts, anything that can help me out and also some entertainment ones. Of course, I'm going to be reading articles, writing articles, making tons of YouTube videos, hopefully, and that's pretty much it. All of this said, I think that we need to have a good work-life balance and so we don't get burned out from what we do. And obviously, friends and family are very important, so make sure that you make some time for them as well. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to say in this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something new. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.